Welcome to another exciting edition of Community Gab! And now, your host, DaFobra! Hey everybody, it's DaFobra here. Today, uh, I'm doing a little bit of a forum. Uh, I'm not riding today, so you know what? I'm literally going to take the gloves off. Um, got my beautiful Honda right here. And uh, for, for a change today, what we're going to have is a little discussion. And I invited one of your favorite motor vloggers and mine, Mr. Dark Flight. Dark Flight, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock somewhere, is a, an incredible motor vlogger, maintains two channels, Dark Flight HD and Dark Flight Vlogs. Uh, hello, Dark Flight, and welcome. Welcome. It certainly is a pleasure speaking with you today. Well, thanks very much, Defobra, and let me say it's my honor to be here, actually. And might I also say that your Freedom Helmet looks very, very sharp. I kind of wish they made a Canadian version of that. You know, maybe with a beaver on it or something. Because us Canadians are all aboot the beaver. <laughs> uh, hello? Defobra? Gotcha. Yeah, I bet you say that to all the Honda guys. Anyway, uh, let's, let's go right to it. Let's talk about YouTube. What does a person looking to break into the motor vlogging community need to do in order to succeed? Well, DeFobra, that's a great question. To get into the motor vlogging community, all you really have to do is be a follower. But if you want real YouTube success, then you're going to need some great ideas. You're going to need some creativity. And you're going to need a great action camera or cameras to be able to record your ideas and your thoughts. Gotcha. Good, okay, well, I find that very interesting. Um, when it comes to these cameras, do you have any preferences at all? Any preferences? Well, DeFobra, I like my videos to have an HD look to them. I look for things like a rotatable lens, 170 degree field of view, a built-in LCD screen, a remote control, 60 frames per second at 720p. Really? Hold on, hold on. We seem to have a fly around here. I just got to take care of it. I know I'm, I'm good, pretty good with this thing. I can get him. Okay, I got him. Sorry about that. Um, well, I respect that. Um, yeah, but there are quite a few cameras out there. Uh, is there one that you personally think is better than all the rest? Well, DeFobra, I honestly hate pitting cameras against one another, so I don't really want to name names. Let's just say that it's going to come down to the owner's uh, personal tastes and what they're going to use the camera for. Every action camera is designed mm -hmm. yeah. for a specific purpose, and some can do things better than the others. Oh, I'm sorry, were you saying something? Sorry? Sorry? I was just answering your question about the cameras. Um, not really... Um, okay, well, I can respect that. I definitely can respect that. If, if, um, what if there were some aspiring motor vloggers out there really trying to take their, their creations to the next level? I mean, would you recommend that they go pro? Crap, I'm out of toilet paper. Starflight, can you pass me in some toilet paper, please? Okay, here you go, babe. Thanks a lot, dear. Excellent. Okay, well, to answer your question, Defobra, I tried to turn pro once, but I never really liked the lifestyle. You see, I prefer to stay underground and connected to the people, because not all great things come from the mainstream. Some of the greatest music, literature, and film come from the underground scene and those that choose to get out there. Now, if you'd excuse me for a second, I gotta kill some of this stink in here. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting. I, I think it's great that you, you're telling people to get out there. Um, that's some great insight. You really do bring a lot to the, oops, up to the table. Um, 
Dr. Flat, I want to thank you for your unbiased, impartial advice. I think it really speaks volumes about who you are. We have a caller online. We have uh, we have Bill from uh, from uh, Ontario. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Holder. Man, that last video where you burnt Dark Flight with a Kawasaki sticker on the dumpster, that was priceless. It's about time people started paying him back for those dear Honda videos. Like, seriously, how childish can they get? Um, I'm sorry, Bill. This is, a, this is a discussion forum. We're having a talk here with Dark Flight of Dark Flight Vlogs, Dark Flight HD, big, big YouTube moto vlogger guy. I'm talking about cameras. Listen, I, I, I appreciate the call in. I really do. Anything you want to say to Dark Flight? What? He's on the line? <laughs> yeah. I'll ask him a question. Yo, Darky. Uh, I recently read a comment on somebody's video that the drift was the beginning of the end for all moto vloggers because anybody can attach that to their helmet and vlog and record crap. Uh, what's your opinion on that? And uh, how different is that from when you uh, people used to put the Kodak and the Panasonic camcorders in their helmet. Three, two, one. Ugh. Well, thanks for calling in, Bill, and for your question. I actually agree that the moto vlogging content is a little watered down these days. However, there is still terrific content coming from both the old and new players involved. That's a good point. And I will say that anything is safer than the old days when we had to go around with those digital cameras in our helmets. That was dangerous. Well, I hope that answers your question. And nice chatting with you, dude. Yeah, it's always good talking to you. Yeah, we'll uh, talk soon. Peace out. All right, well, I uh, thank you for the call. All right, we have another caller online too. We have um, uh, NLR from, I don't even know where he's from. Go ahead, NLR, go ahead. Yeah, uh, just want to say hey to Cobra. Love the show, super fan. I can't really say I got a question, but you know, there's been a lot of rumors going around. Just wanted to clarify some stuff, I guess, since we're all here together. So I heard that like Drift came by and you sold your soul to them or something and they gave you a great big super check and dumped a truckload of money in your driveway and stuff, and apparently they airdropped a whole bunch of cameras to you too, but can you elaborate on this? Just one second, NLR. There's somebody at my door. Oh. Hey babe, we just brought you another check. Yeah, yeah, just set it in the office with all the other ones. Sorry about that, NLR. Um, sold my soul, you ask? <laughs> no, not exactly. That's actually the biggest, most ridiculous glass of haterade that I've ever tasted. I, I kind of figured there, there was nothing to it, man. You know, like, I know you pretty well. We've been friends for a while, so, you know. But sometimes you just got to clear the stuff up on air type thing, but... You know, you'd never see me bound to a corporate sponsor ever. I mean, that's just that's just not who I am, right? Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, I, I definitely want to thank you for the comment and uh, you know for calling in. I really think it's great the the conversations that we're having. Uh, we're gonna have to close this session now. I want to thank Dark Flight for coming out um, once again. What a great, unbiased, impartial opinion uh, based on your uh, your advice i really you know quite frankly i haven't made up your my mind at all but i i really think that you've hit a lot of solid points today and i thank you for coming all right thanks everybody take care see ya tune in next time for another exciting edition of community Gas.